Hey everybody, this is Paul. In this video, I wanted to show you guys what I've been thinking about doing for my next video series. So instead of using an IDE, I was thinking it might be kind of neat to do some of the programming in a bash terminal. And so if you don't have a bash terminal, you can still use an IDE and follow along with me. But if you do have access to a bash terminal, then you can follow along with me from the terminal. And if you don't have, it might still be interesting for you to learn a little bit about how this works. So the terminal right now is working in the practice folder here. And right now, if I type in the ls command, it tells me everything that's inside of that folder. And when I press enter, nothing shows up. So this folder is empty. If I wanted to create a file, for instance, if I wanted to create a main.cpp file, I could say touch main.cpp. And so now I've created this main.cpp file. So now when I type the ls command, then it lists main.cpp. So now main.cpp is inside of this practice folder here. So if we wanted to go ahead and edit main.cpp, I could just say open main.cpp. So main.cpp opens up here. So right now I'm using Sublime Text 2 as a code editor, and we can create a C++ program in here. So we can type include the C standard library, and then we can include IO stream, and then we'll do using name space standard, and then we'll just create a main function. We don't need to pass in any arguments to that, and we can just do opening and closing curly braces, and then a return zero at the end. And then we could just put some sort of output statement here, something like Paul programming is my fave or it YouTube channel. And of course, if you're British, feel free to add a U right here. But since I'm not British, I'll just go ahead and leave the U out. So we've created this really simple C++ file now. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this file, and then I'll go back to the terminal here, and then I'll just say g++ main.cpp. So g++ is the command that we use to compile a C++ file. So let's go ahead and just push enter. And so as long as there's no problems, then this just goes down to the next line. If there was problems with compiling it, then it would show some errors right here, and we could go back into the code and fix it. And now when I type in ls, it shows this new thing right here. A dot out. So that was a result of this G++ command. So the main.cpp file was compiled and it's changed into this executable A dot out. So now if I type in dot dash A dot out, it says Paul programming is my favorite YouTube channel. So it ran the program that's inside of main.cpp. So if we if we wanted to name this something else besides A dot out, we could simply say G++ and then main.cpp and this time we give it a minus O flag, and then we just name it whatever we want. And so we could just name it Paul if we wanted to. Now when I push enter, I type in ls, and now we have a dot out main.cpp and Paul. And if I type dot dash Paul, it runs the program. So now we have the option to run a dot out or Paul to see the output of our main.cpp program. So anyway, that was just kind of a quick introduction. I'm thinking about doing this type of setup for the binary search tree video. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments, if you think it's a good idea or a bad idea. Um, I'm really curious to know what you guys think because I want to do the best thing for you guys so that it's easy for you guys to follow along and understand what I'm doing. I think if it's all right with you guys, I'd like to go ahead and do it this way because you'll end up learning some bash commands as well. And that way you don't have to always be dependent on an IDE. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I'll go ahead and read them and see what you guys have to say. So anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.